now we have not just maniacs in the Pentagon, but a bunch of Dr. Strangeloves? Pretty weird stuff. But scientists have been experimenting with radio frequencies on animals' brains for decades. And the military has followed it all very closely. Back in the 60s, the Soviets began zapping the American embassy in Moscow with a low-frequency beam. One theory is that they were trying to mess with people's central nervous systems. And one report did say the diplomats got depressed a lot. And hey, just think of all the nifty applications against the enemy. Why blow people up when you can drive them crazy? From uh, documents dating back into the early 80s, we see that the military had discussed the possibilities of mind control through uh, radio frequency energy. The possibility is there. The military has studied it. A 1982 Air Force report called radio frequency energy a major new research initiative and said that RF can, quote, disrupt normal purposeful behavior. A 1987 military report called for more research on RF energy as a non-lethal weapon while pointing out that most of the existing technology is classified. In 1993, there was a big conference at John Hopkins University. The entire conference was classified. The agenda wasn't, and weapons using extremely low radio frequencies, or ELFs, were listed as a very attractive option.